What's good YouTube? It's your boy Metal Caleb and welcome back to another banger video. Today I have something special for you guys. Today I have the Mesmobile. She has been hidden for oh too long. And we have a 2008 Ford Mustang GT. This is the 4.6 liter V8. And damn, this is gonna be a good video. So we're gonna be going head to head and I really wanna do a couple 20, 30, and 40 rolls just to see how much power my V6 Mustang is really making. And before you guys be like, oh, the V8 finna take them, let me go ahead and give you a little backstory on the mods that we have done to the car. We have a cold air intake. We have a 70 mil throttle body aftermarket. And then we also have a set of BBK shorty headers also paired with a 93 race tune from Bama Performance. And this 4.6 GT is bone stock. And for those who don't know, these things come about 310 horsepower to the crank and about 320 foot pounds of torque to the rear wheels. These stock get about 210 horsepower to the crank, about 180 to the wheel, and about 240 foot pounds of torque and about 220 to the wheel. So full boat on tune, this V6, I'm assuming that it makes somewhere in the ballpark between 260 and 290 horsepower. I'm not gonna even cap like it's 300 horsepower. So we're gonna go ahead and see. The 310 crank horsepower 4.6 makes about two, I wanna say about between 265 and 275 horsepower. So we're gonna see, this is gonna be a great matchup to see how much power this V6 Mustang is really making. So without further ado, smash that like button, subscribe down below. It's your boy Meso Caleb and let's get it, get it, go. So what I can say for sure is that the top end on the 4.6 automatically is really good. Like it's really good. But I mean, my car modded of course on the 20 roll, I already know I'm a hook. So I'm gonna hook regardless. Um, but I think because, I mean, eight is better than six and the power band is just unmatched with the 4.6 as far as top end. Like once I hit like 80, maybe 85 miles an hour, he will definitely pull harder. So let's see if we can get another matchup going. 30! See, like I said, he does pull on the top end of the speed, but my acceleration is just out of, out of this world. And the torque, the torque on this car, I, I can definitely feel that it's way higher than stock. So I think we're gonna get another matchup going and we can see if we can get one more. Let's go ahead and line it up. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think about the this V6 versus a three valve. I honestly feel like we're up there with three valve power. They are about 265, like I said, 270 to the wheel. And I I think I'm close. Like I would say my car is a good 260, maybe 255, maybe. I don't know because a lot of like different three valves, they run like different the stock numbers. That that one uh in particular uh i want to say it has like 
I don't even know the mileage on it. So like the mileage does affect the amount of power you actually get. So I think in this case, I think in this case, we can say the Mesomobile is definitely pushing stock three valve power. Like if not stock three valve power, just a little bit under it because I do have the weight on him. So that is also a plus. Damn Scooby-Doo man, goddamn. Like I'm saying, like you can definitely feel the Whoa, power. Look at this 5-0. Yeah, they got a little 5 right there. But uh, not today. This is all about the Mesomobile. So. Not that 5 -0. We talk about my, my little 3-7. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty satisfied with the results from... Let me see. I'm trying to find parking. I'm really satisfied with the results from this race because, I mean, it don't get no better than that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what else What else you going to do? Like, there is a lot of stuff you can do to improve the performance of this car, which we might do later on in the year. But I think for a full Boton tune V6 Mustang S197, I think I did a pretty damn good job. 210, 310 horsepower, it's 100 horsepower difference, full bolt on to a stock 4.6, and we held our own. He ended up walking in the top end, but he doesn't walk until 85 miles an hour, maybe, because the top end of, of um, a V8 will definitely pull in the top end. So I'm gonna go ahead and park somewhere and talk to him and see how he, you know, like the lineup and see if he you know appreciates the little the little v6 power you know what i'm saying so we'll go ahead and park right here and boom there you have it this is the mesomobiles four liter v6 mustang versus sk 4.6 liter v8 the baby. and tell me what did you expect you from know this what it was, I ain't lie, he had a, a quick ass start. His shit was like, it was fast that, off, the, off the bank. I don't know the if The throttle response, know. yeah. No, you good, you good. Look, 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 so the throttle response, that shit was nice. I ain't gonna lie, so I'm like, okay. It was really unexpected, so I had to go ahead. I'm, I'm in a quick, like, come on, come on, <laughs> come on. Honestly, guys, drop a like on this video because we have a lot more matchups. That's gonna be way easier than racing a V8 because mm -hmm. I have like I have a Honda Civic SI. Oh, yeah, sure. That's that's yeah, they gonna that's be gonna seeing be me race. for sure for sure on yeah. the channel. Oh yeah, I'm you gonna, be, gonna definitely I'm see I'm him turn on the channel. Up this baby, I might give me a GT500. I'm, I'm, so the plans. This is a stock three valve Mustang, as we said before. The plans that he had, honestly, or has, is gonna be retarded. Like we got intake cams headers full exhaust coming this this car is gonna be crazy dumb and the thing is if you put the same mods that i have on this car on this car the gains are ridiculous you easily can get these cars to about 400 wheel with like no effort so a set of cams intake tune throttle body headers all that good stuff and especially a new set of tires because you're gonna definitely be not have no traction whatsoever yeah, oh, no. so but yeah, so honestly, what do you think? You want to call out an even matchup with a V8? You think you think you'll give it a yeah, thumbs yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's a he's strict, a he's strictly up. a V8 driver. I'm a, I'm so a, I'm a V8 driver, but you know what I'm saying on a V8 V6 and uh, I would prefer. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you Ford's like that Ford, punch. But you know yeah, I want, I, yeah, I want that bang. But at Ford's a V6 is it, it, it definitely can compete. For shit show. So I mean, not at the top time, end though. Not at that top end though. The no, top end V8 is V8. That was gonna pull. If you invest right and get the right, you know what I'm saying. Settle. Not no time. Yeah, right yeah. Settle correction. Yeah. I mean, you can get your power where if you really wanted that. True. Depending true. on how much you get on the takeoff with the torque, you yeah. might be able to make something really move. You know what I'm saying? With yeah. Horsepower. So we got a, we got some more mods that's coming later on in the year, so we will have to run this back up when you get mods. Oh, yeah, I already know I'm not gonna sure. stand a chance once he start modding this thing, but. For, let me get up this way so they can see. Honestly, that's the goal right there. Yeah, like, that's the goal right there. No oh yeah, that man. that's the goal right there. Like my oh, girl already pointed out the, the five zero. So, 5 -0. so so we do we do have a lot of plans. I'm not gonna speak on it too much because I have some crazy stuff planned for y'all later on in the year. But we're not gonna talk about that. Just what we gonna talk about right now is this right here. What can we do to turn this little old 4.0 V6 into a beast? Now we already can sure. stand alone. On the on the low end with a V8, but I think we can still do more. You know what I'm saying? I think there's a lot more you could do to these. You know what I'm saying? So we have more matchups coming. Make sure you guys do drop a like on this video. Definitely subscribe down below if you want to see more lineups with the Mesmobile. Go ahead, link the link to my channel. Subscribe.
subscribe, follow your boys, stay tuned. I'll be coming with the most banging content, boxing, oh, yeah. public interviews, Racing, vlogs, everything, vlogs, vlogs, pranks, you know challenges, stuff. all that crazy stuff. Everything. So make sure you guys do his link in the description. It's going to be in the first line. So go ahead and subscribe down below. Show some love to his channel because once he pop out with his post six and them pranks and them challenges, it's over. He's putting on your neck. You know what I'm saying? So, it's your boy Messo Kayla, man, and I hope you guys enjoyed this banger video, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's get it, get it, go.